just a few months back we bought you the Z2 uh, the Sony Xperia Z2 before actually the rest of the world got the phone and now we are going to give you the Z3 so where is the Z3 the Z3 is right here because it's so thin and it's built like a tank so let's look at these Z3 the Z2 was one of the best phones that came out this year but it's um, Sony has come out with the new flagship within months of the Z2. That's because there were some slight issues with the Z2, especially with the heating. And that is what Sony is trying to fix with the Z3. So the Z3 also has the same USB as the Z2, which is that you can use it underwater if you want. There is no other phone that is so waterproof as the Xperia Z series. Also fully waterproof, you can read uh, something, you can read a mail, if you are inside a bathtub, it is that waterproof. The Z3 is slightly different from the earlier phone because this, instead of the sharp flat edges, there are curved edges and they are smooth and easy to hold. But it's still waterproof and, and you can see that the flap on the side is now almost uh, uh, you know, unnoticeable. It, it's been built into the design unlike the earlier one which used to come out a lot. interface is almost the same. Uh, there are slight tweaks which you'll notice only if you have used the Z2 and they are minor changes. Like uh, if you're trying to take a screenshot for instance, you now uh, see an option to take a screenshot as well as a record screen option. The record screen option is new. It was not there earlier. If you're buying a Z3, it's usually because you want an amazing camera on a phone. And this is one of the best cameras in an Android phone. That is primarily because it gives you so many options. Just see, these are all the pre-burned apps and you have the option to download many more apps right here. So, again, you see that the Z3 comes with 4K video and that is something to die for because there are hardly any other options to shoot 4K video in the world right now and and this is at a time when you are getting 4K TVs. So shoot a home video on 4K and play it on your 4K television which is now becoming even, in, uh, even more affordable than before. So the video quality on 4K is really superb and you can see the difference when you zoom in to a video. You can actually zoom in to a video shot in 4K and see that there is hardly any pixelation. The Z2 had issues with 4K video when the phone used to heat up a lot when you are shooting in 4K and the camera used to shut down. Uh, this phone, we have used it to shoot, uh, to shoot Full HD as well as 4K video and this is not really heated up like the Z2. It still heats up and, and that is not something that we can fix but it does not heat up as much as Z2 and I think that should make this phone a winner this time.